So in this function, uh, what we want to do is determine if this is uh, differentiable. Okay. So again, the first thing we want to do is look at differentiability. And if differentiability, we know that it has to first be continuous because we know that if something is if something is differentiable, then it um, is going to be continuous, right? So the first and easiest thing is to check continuity because if it's not continuous, it can't be differentiable. The first thing I notice here is we could obviously go ahead. First thing that we would do is you know set them equal to each other. Right, and then you'd plug in the one. But this is actually all a waste of time for this problem. Because before I even do the math, right, there's something I notice about this problem. Does anybody see it? Yes? Yeah, there's no equal sign. So who cares what this, you know, what this graph looks like? Even if it did, does connect, you know, I don't know. Let's say it like connects right there, but there's no equal sign. There's no filled in dot, right? So therefore, it's never going to be continuous. Obviously, if I had something like this, then we could see, it, then we'd have to make sure we check this. Um, but obviously, since there's no equal sign, we know that it's a discontinuous function, right? Everybody agree with me? So therefore, this is not differentiable because it's not continuous. Just for um, S and G, let's go ahead and check. Uh, let's just go and check this. Let's pretend that it was uh, greater than. So let's do 1 minus 3 plus 9. I'm pretty sure because I made up the problem. So let's see. That's 1 half times 3 minus 5. Oh, that's plus, right? And obviously, we can see that it's definitely not going to be uh, equal to each other. I'm not even going to work out the fraction. I could, but we know that they're not equal to each other, right? Because that'd be like 3 halves, so it's like negative 1.5, right? So it's not even, no, it's not going to work. 